The New York Rangers made three trades at this year's NHL trade deadline to upgrade their NHL roster, bringing in one center, Alex Wenberg, a winger, Jack Rolzovic, and a depth defenseman in Chad Ruedel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all three of those players and kind of talking about how they have done so far since joining the Rangers at the deadline. Starting off here with the winger, Jack Rolzovic. He was brought in to be that kind of top line right winger alongside Mika Zibanejad and Chris Kreider to try and really help out their 5-on-5 five five scoring. So far, hasn't necessarily worked out the best. Right now, Jack Rolzovic has a total of 17 games played for the Rangers. Two goals, five assists for seven total points. Right now, he does have two even strength goals and four even strength assists out of his seven total points so not too bad there at all only one power play point out of his seven isn't too bad so six even second points not terrible but definitely not amazing i would like to see a bit more offensive production especially even strength out of a guy like rosevic and you know he's not a guy who's going to get a ton of power play time anyway so i wouldn't worry too much about the power play scoring but obviously the five on five even strength scoring i would like to see be a bit better i mean Six in 17 games isn't terrible, but definitely I would like to see it be a bit better. And we have seen quite a few different right wingers kind of go up there on that top line and be tried out alongside the Banajet and Kreider. And for the most part, it hasn't necessarily worked out great. You know, we've seen quite a bit of, you know, Wheeler at times and Kako. Now, obviously, Roslovic getting a pretty decent run there. So it definitely hasn't been the best for those kind of right wingers over it has been alongside Zibanejad and Kreider. But come playoff time, I really do hope we can see the Rawls of it, Kreider, and Zibanejad line really clicking at 5-on-5 five five because if they can produce at a pretty good rate there at even strength while also having the other top line made up of Panarin, Trocek, and Lafreniere who've been a absolutely phenomenal line this season. If both those lines can be producing at 5-on-5 five five, while also having one of the best power plays in the entire NHL, if all those three things, the top two lines as well as the power play, and keep going and we really see that big jump up with the 5 on 5 production from that Zibanejad line if that can happen this offense can truly be very dominant especially with having a goaltender like Eorja Sturkin and obviously the defense is not perfect but that offense can be very very dominant especially if both those lines can be producing at 5 on 5. At the end of the day, though, it's not like the Rangers ended up trading for a true kind of top-line winger like a Jake Gensel, for example. They ended up going for more of a middle six kind of guy like a Jack Rosovic. So I think what he's done so far, he has been decent, but I would like to see a bit better of an overall game from Rosovic. Next up here, taking a look at Alex Wenberg, who the New York Rangers traded for from the Seattle Kraken. And I think Alex so far has been a pretty decent third-line center for the Rangers. He's never going to be some crazy good offensive talent, but he's solid offensive but this main part of his game is his defensive play and his overall just good kind of two-way game you know defensively he's going to provide just a good kind of shutdown third line kind of role there you know help him with the penalty kill as well be a good decent penalty killer the draws he's definitely not great at so far in 17 games the rangers he does have a 44.7 face off win percentage not the best but the rangers already do have a few guys who are going to go to the draws so i think for what he brings you know being a good two-way center i think that's more than fine the face offs Obviously, ideally, you'd like to see him be very good, but it's fine that he's not the best there. That's okay. For a third-line role, though, I think he plays that quite well. Good 2A guy, and right now is playing alongside guys like Kako and Will Cooley, two pretty young wingers, and I think having a, a decent experienced guy there in Wenberg and an overall really good defensive line there as well. I mean, Will Cooley and Kako are definitely pretty solid defensive wingers, you know, can provide a bit of check in there as well. So I think that it, third line definitely will have a pretty big impact in the playoffs if this team wants to go on a good run. You got to have that bottom six rolling and playing some good overall defensive hockey and, you know, some good tough hockey as well. Got to be physical and stuff like that, especially in the bottom six, and that is exactly what what this third line can bring and Alex Wenberg so far with the Rangers has 17 games played one goal four assists for five total points I think overall yeah you want to see maybe a bit more offensive production but for what he brings defensively and that is the main part of his game is his defensive play being that kind of third line and kind of shut down center I think that's fine you want to see a bit more but I think for what he brings that is okay and you know come playoff time you do want to see your bottom six scoring here and there but he's not going to be some lead offensive guy so I wouldn't be too worried about what he does offensively although like I said you do want to see him definitely you know, get a you know goal and assist here and there as well alongside guys like Kako and Cooley who are you know pretty solid two-way guys as well 
that third line will be very, very important come playoff time. If they can be you know, a good defensive line, good physical line as well, but also be able to produce offensively a bit at 5 on 5 even strength, that will be very, very important for this range of success come playoff time. And the last guy we're going to take a look at in this video is Chad Ruidol. I think overall, he's a pretty solid defensive defenseman. He's only 5'11", so it's not like he's some you know big bruiser out there who's going to be fighting and hitting, but he's going to be a solid defensive defenseman here, provide some good defensive play, and be a good puck mover as well, which is very important. You know, this guy is obviously not some elite offensive guy. He's not going to put up a ton of points, and he does have currently five games played with the Rangers, zero points. So it's not too surprising, and it's not too big of a deal either because he's not coming here to be a quarterback in the power play or to put up a ton of points. He's here to come in and play once in a while whenever he does, and when he does, be a good defensive defenseman and be a reliable guy in his own zone who can also be a pretty good puck mover. And he does have a decent amount of playoff experience with the Penguins where he's been his whole entire career, as well as he has won a Stanley Cup with them as well. So that's quite nice. He's a 33-year-old guy. So he's a veteran guy with a decent amount of experience in the playoffs as well, which is quite nice. Taking a look at a pretty interesting stat, when he and Zach Jones have been paired together, which obviously hasn't been too much, but 43.3 minutes together so far. And yes, that is quite the small sample size, but still he does have one paired with Zach Jones, the second lowest expected goals against per 60 minutes of any Rangers D pair so far this season with a 1.25. So clearly he's a pretty solid guy, very small sample size, but he has been quite good in that limited time. So I think overall, he's a pretty solid defenseman. He's got some experience in the playoffs. He's been around the league for a while now. A veteran guy and four-year seventh slash eighth D-man. I definitely think is quite good. And especially with how Jacob Truba and Keandre Miller have been playing as of late, I do hope we see a bit more of Zach Jones and Chad Weedle in these last final games. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button. It helps the channel out a ton. Also, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on these three trades by the Rangers. And also, don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content.